Okay, hello everyone. I just want to make a little video to show you my homemade suppressor uh, that I made for my 3006 Springfield Remington rifle here. And uh, I know it looks a little big, but um, I want to make it for 30 caliber and uh, so I could use it on various rifles other than 3006, 3030, 308, things like that. Uh, also, uh, you can see this is a reflex design from about the midpoint here back is uh, an all of an open chamber and then from uh, here forward is is all baffles and uh, it uh, the barrel threads in uh, to a fitting right here in the middle. So I developed some subsonic loads for it. They're uh, 245 grain. Uh, lead uh, flat point and uh, they're pretty accurate. I'm just setting it into 50 yards because uh, I don't plan on uh, shooting anything farther than that uh, in the woods here. Um, so just uh, trying to be a good neighbor shooting quiet. And I'll show you how it uh, threads onto the barrel here. Got a little bit of black electrical tape on the inside there to, so I don't scratch up the barrel. engaged. Okay, make sure it's on nice and tight. Uh, the other reason I made it, uh, it's 14 inches overall, is um, Sending in the form one, I had to put how long it was going to be, and, and I didn't want to make it too small. I wanted to make sure that it was going to suppress the sound. So I had some preliminary designs, and I put 14 inches on there. And then after I refined my design, I realized I could have made it smaller. But um, you know, I want to get my form one in before uh, the flood last year. So um, so there it is. So it's not too heavy. It's made of uh, aluminum. Uh, the outer tube is aluminum and the blast baffle and the first baffle are stainless steel and then the end caps and all the other baffles are uh, a regular carbon steel. So both uh, ends are threaded on and uh, you can fully disassemble it. So I'll take a couple of shots. Um, I'll use the subsonic uh, lead rounds and I'll, I'll do a couple of those and then I'll, sh I'll um, do a a full um, Remington 150 grain core locked. So I'll shoot that. It's a little bit louder, obviously. There's a crack, but um, I'm not using any hearing protection. Okay, so first the subsonic. And that's with ten and a half grains of Trail Boss powder, and I, I drilled out the flash holes um, to three thirty seconds, so a little, just a hair bigger than they they normally are. Try another one. And these are going right through uh, two uh, pressure treated 2x12s that I have stacked together. So you're talking three and a half inches of, of pine. So that'll, that'll have no problem taking down a deer. All right, I don't uh, usually shoot 
full powered rounds uh, with this. It's not a real, <laughs> it does suppress it, but um, you know, the whole point is to use the subsonic rounds so that the neighbors don't get upset with me. So um, here's the full power um, right out of the box, 150 grain uh, Remingtons. So it wasn't too bad, but <clears throat> certainly not as good as the subsonic ones. So anyway, there it is. Um, plan on making a couple of more after I send my Form 1s in and get them back in however long it's taken them now. And uh, 223 and uh, 35 caliber, things like that, so I can get a little bit heavier of a, heavier of a bullet uh, downrange. Hope you enjoyed it.